Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Paul Ishiko Furiade. You know, I told you this month um, is a new month. It's a special month. Welcome to June, our month of the Kingdom Way. And I want to say thank you for being part of this, what we have been doing here on the internet, and especially the this, this Shadama Film School Online. Today, I have been telling you some things so you have been wondering. For our Paul, we have just been mentioning this Kunle Adekpoju. We didn't see Kunle Adekpoju now. You didn't see this guy. Ah, we know this guy now. We feel um Yes, by the grace of God, you are going to have a tip. I tell you a tip of some of the things that you can do. And uh, you find it so much um, uh, a privilege to also honor God in our life. And say, ah, Rapa, don't stress yourself this time. Around. Let me come. Let me do something little. And uh, here with us in our home studio, we have our brother, our beloved brother. So you're going to be hearing from him. And uh, you may not see my face when I talk uh, because I, you have been seeing my face for some time. So you will see it in space more. If I talk, you will only hear me from the back and all that. So by the grace of God, we have him this morning. Hi. This wonderful morning, his name is Kunle Adipaju. He, he is a director. Uh, he's a cinematographer. He's a producer. And he's also... A person of creativity, a trainer. That's it. Thank you so much as you enjoy the next face. You see? Gong gong. Good morning, everyone. You see him now. Yeah. I welcome you to the month of June. I, I wrote something this morning in my tip and uh, talking about uh, light. I, I said uh, a picture is good when you have um, light controlled in the camera. And uh, that is my own special way of uh, welcoming everybody into the month of June. I want to sincerely appreciate Brapol um, Ishuko Furiade. I want to appreciate uh, the team of uh, Special Drama and Film School Online. I am live in their studio this morning. And I want to really appreciate many of you who always follow these very teachings. It has been a teaching that has been blessing so many lives. And that is one of the reasons why I'm inspired, I'm moved, I'm encouraged to be here this morning. So, I will be talking about light. I want to specially talk about one very important thing we need to know about the relationship between the camera and the light. The relationship between the camera and the light. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, Bible said in Amos uh, chapter 3 verse 3 that uh, can two work together except they agree so i want to tell you the agreement between the camera and the light because if your camera and your light does not agree then you you will not have a good picture you will not have a good picture and that is the beauty of what i want to discuss today i want you to know that uh, from fr first i want to compare your camera and the human eye um the the, the attribute of a camera is similar to that of our eyes the attribute of a camera is similar to that of our eyes. And the best a camera can produce is determined by the quality of the light that comes into that camera at that moment. And not just the light that comes into the camera. One of the things that make you to see me properly now is because a light is put on me. Light is put on me. Now, it is me that the light is put on, not the camera. Now, if you want to see me and you direct the light into definitely you will begin to see my silhouette because the light is not on me now and the light that is on me is reflected from me into the camera so uh, who, who will understand this thing by uh, i i know in nigeria many of us will have been to some uh, naming ceremony birthday party that are done in the exteriors and you will see a lot of canopies put outside. Sometimes we use, they use red canopy. Sometimes they use blue canopy. Sometimes they use white canopy. And when it is sunny, you will discover the color of the canopy will reflect on the body of people who are under the canopy. But especially if you are under a yellow canopy, you will see the color of that yellow canopy on the body of the people. It will create a kind of tilt, tilt picture as in tilt images on whatever that is seeing that very uh, person. And this is the attribute of light and the camera. Now, it is the color of 
whatever I'm putting on, it is the color of whatever I'm putting on that is reflecting from me through the light that is coming into the camera. That is, and that is the image that is formed in the sensor of the camera that is recording me. Now, this is the relationship between the light and the camera. One, the first thing you need to know is that when there is no light, there is no image. When there is no light, there is no image. And that this is what God himself let us understand in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning there was word, and in the beginning God created heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. Now, what happened was that there was no light. What happened was that you can't see anything when there was no light. And God said, let there be light. And it was when light came on that we could see everything that existed, existed on the surface of the earth. So before your camera can see anything, there must be light. And if there is no light, your camera sees nothing. Now, there is light now and your camera can see something. But the quality of what your camera is going to see is now determined by how well you can control the light that comes into that subject. How well you can control that light. And that is what takes us to the types of light. And that's what takes us to the system at which you arrange your light to get a quality picture. That is when we begin to talk about the key light, we talk about the field light, we talk about the back light, we talk about the background light, we talk about side light, we talk about base light, we talk about kicker, we talk about rims. All these are the forms of light that you position in to your talent, to your subject, that will give us the quality of the image we are going to see on in our camera. Now, this is the relationship between the camera and the light. Now, let me give you a, 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 a clear understanding. There is, a, there, is, there is an attribute that I want you to really understand. This is it. Now, when light, I want to talk, I want to talk a little bit of the physics of light and camera. The physics of light and camera. Now, when a light is coming from the source, it produces ray or collection of ray that we call beam. Now, for example, the light that is put before me now is, is, uh, is an LED light. That LED light has a lot, of, a lot of diode inside. All those diodes, so each of them produces each one ray, one ray each. And all of them are inside one box. That is a production of a beam of light that is coming on me. Now, that ray travels through vacuum to reach me. It travels through vacuum to reach me. I am the subject for the camera. I am the subject for the camera. So the light travels from that source to reach me through a vacuum. And when it reaches me, when it reaches me, what makes the camera to pick me as an image for himself was that the reflection of the light that reached me is coming into the camera. Now, the strength of that reflection the strength of the reflection of the light that is coming from me into the camera determines the quality of the image you are seeing in front of the camera. Now, some people used to say that uh, ah, when we want to shoot our movie, we have to use red. Some people used to say ah, when we want to shoot our movie, we have to use uh, uh, we have to use Aria Lexus and the rest of it. Good, fantastic, lovely. But if you choose all this type of camera and you are not qualitative with your lighting. Definitely, you will produce a production that will look like you have used one uh, Super VHS or one <laughs> Video 8 to produce. At the end of the people will ask you and say, ah, I'm sorry to use that, Yoruba language. It's common to us, yeah. So, but they said they use Ari Alexa to shoot the movie. Why is it like we, we've just used a, a 60D to shoot? Because you lack the quality lighting for that thing. So the quality of the light that reach me and travels from me as a reflected ray into your camera determines the quality of the image you are going to see on the screen. This is the attribute I actually want to uh, tell you. Now, if these two things, if these two things, the light and the camera are not related properly, Definitely, the image you are going to produce will be worse. Now, this is what I mean. Now, as the light comes into me, and the reflected ray travels from me into the camera, you see a quality of an image in the camera. Now, the positioning of your lights, 
the positioning of your life is now determining the shaping of the image you are going to see. Now, if the light that is in front of me is not positioned right in front of me, if it's positioned right behind me, now what you will see of me is a silhouette. You will eventually see me, but you will not see my image. You will see me as a shadow, but you will see the reflection of ray of light that is behind me. That is the attribute of what the, the, the image will give me when the light is not facing me directly. Now, when, you, I, when the light is positioned below, like it's a, 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 low, a little bit lower than my high level, there is a way you will see the image in, on the screen. And this is what determines the mood of any image. What determines the mood of any image. Do you understand, do you believe that God himself does not just create light? When he created his light, he did not just leave it like that. The, he, 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 he achieved designing his light, controlling his light to give particular season, particular time of the day. Now, when he created the sun, sun did not just exist. He designed it in such a way that at a moment there will be full, there will be very high intense sun. At the moment, there will be very cool in the sun. At the moment, it will be it will be a little dark. At, the, at another moment, it will be evening. At the moment, the sun will be golden in color. At the moment, the sun will, will be completely white in color at the moment. So that is mood. That is mood. God himself creates mood with his lighting. So if you are lighting, it's not just position, I just position light and I shall to image. No. If you just see image. There won't be any interpretation. There won't be any interpretation in the picture you are painting. Now, do you know sometimes when you when you light when you know sometimes when you light a, uh, an image when you light an image sometimes when you light an image do you know that before the actor before the character on the set say a word the the audience already know the situation of that scene with a good lighting before a talent can say a word in a scene. The audience already know the situation. For example, an investigatory room of of uh, of ICPC or um, let me say EFCC or uh, NDLEA. You know, a, 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 their investigative room. The mood of the lighting in that investigatory investigation room already before anybody talks in that set, you already know that ah, one fair investigative man. You know, because of the mood of the lighting. The mood of the lighting already tells us where we are. So, it, it, lighting does a lot of things to the camera. So actually, and so when, lighting is telling a story too. Uh, exactly. Lighting, in fact, tells the story. Mm -hmm. Lighting, in fact, tells the story. So, this is, uh, this is what I, I, I would love to share with you this morning on the relationship between your camera and your light. Your light relates with your camera in a reflected way most times. So many times when you when you direct your light into your camera, when you direct your light into your camera, you will eventually have a lens flare. That is the result of directing your light into your camera. But if your light is directed to your subject and the reflected ray is traveling into the camera, then you will have the image you are supposed to see from your camera. Then the way you now control all the source of light that is around your subject will now determine how the image you are printing will look before your camera thank you for having me all right well uh he has said uh some points and i thank god let me just read some little comments um we have official ice flex works that's um anu we have abiola natitunes bumi pamitale god bless you sir physics of light and camera <laughs> the tofumi said well done well, I will ask you questions because this is dedicated to you. And um, like I said, it's not a long thing, but I want everybody to really enjoy some things. Uh, Brother Kunle, how do you come about lighting? The first time I knew you, you know how to subscribe to. That's the very first time what I know about you. I know you know how to subscribe. But till now, people don't know you know how to subscribe to very well. I know you've left it for a longer time. Tell me, how do you come about light? How do you become so much... Um, you understand the camera and light because that's the relationship we're talking about. You marry them easily. 
So how do you come about? How do, where do you learn it? Ah, I try to know that you move, we bring it from heaven, but somebody puts it out in on earth. Well, uh, first, I want to thank God. It's a privilege for me to know life. I went to film school, and I studied very much of directing, and uh, I studied very much of cinematography. But the revelation of light, of lighting, being a light designer, being a light man, comes to me from God. I I was in I was in my in my in my a time with God some years ago and uh, God began to speak to me from Genesis chapter 1 and uh, and I was reading that I was reading that Genesis chapter 1 as if it was as if it, it's a passage I've never read before I said I, I used to read this but what I was what was coming to me from there was totally different God was explaining to me how he lights the world. He was explaining the morning and the evening, and the morning and the night were a day. Now, that actually tells us how God designs the mood. At a point, at a point why in that revelation, in that devotion, that thing did not leave me when I left that my time of devotion, my time of, uh, of, 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 sit, uh, of um, staying in the presence of the Lord. When I left that very place, my moving around one day, I, I, I will just look up and I will see cloud. And God will open my eyes to me. Do you know this is my gel? <laughs> I have I have my own tracer. This this cloud, this white cloud is my own tracer. And sometimes you will see the cloud, it will be black. And God, God told me at that moment, do you know this is my own ND filter? <laughs> and at, at some point you will see some bluish feel of light. And God will tell me this is my own blue gel. And I realized that everything about lighting, if you, if you understand the Bible, you will realize that God himself happens to be the first light designer. And this was what broke me down. This was what took me more into the presence of the Lord to know more about the way God himself light the world. And I realized that God has only one source of light. And it is sun. And you know the moon is a reflector. That is the truth about the creation. The moon is a reflector. That is why you will have sun here right now in Nigeria. And in the U.S., they are, they, are, they are in their nights. So because the sun is reaching us now, and in the U.S., the sun is not reaching The only way by which you can experience the ray of light is when a spill of light, moves, a, a, a spill of it, reaches the moon from the sun. That's where you have a crescent. That's when you have, a, you, you understand, when you have a crescent, when you have a full moon, and all those things like that. This is the way God himself designs his own life. God did not stop there. God made the stars. And the stars create the sparkles. Stars, stars create the sparkles of, uh, of lighting, the way God himself lights the world. And you will, you will discover that there are a lot of aesthetics with God's lighting on his own. And that is in the only thing that informed me more about lighting. It is not that I have some special training. Anyway, now I'm, 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 I'm also getting to know more about professional, more about professional way of lighting. I'm getting to know more about it. But at first, God was the one that initiated my lighting design. And even Thank till you. now, because I must confess, even till now, He's still guiding us. One thing I discover about this work we do, especially many of us who are children of God, many of us who are Christians, we 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 are really really uh, we are really really excited uh, that what God is doing. And I must confess this to you. Uh, this video is not just this is a prophetic video right now. You're going to see yourself on so many platforms you have never thought about because the Bible says, See it, the man diligent in his work, he shall stand before king and not before me, men. And um, last question because I know this is a tip and a lot of people are tempting me, but I won't obey their temptation. <laughs> uh, I won't be the temptation. We have Olayo your day, not precious. We have Musiko, Enya your You know Musiko now. Wow! Thank you, so, thank you, everybody for coming. So on uh, <laughs> the last question would be that: Do you separate cinematography from light in a training school, or somebody should just specialize on lighting alone, and somebody specialize on cinematography alone, or this day of digital? <laughs> Has it been combined? 
oh, oh, okay. Maybe I should I address this question from the from the professional point of view. Medical doctor. There are so many aspects in medic medic medical medical line. Somebody is a medical doctor, has a specialized area as a medical doctor. So cinematographer, you can be a cinematographer, but you are you can have a specialized area. Uh, 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 like like uh, presently, I know much about Godwin Lawan, who is a light designer, is a light man. He's a cinematographer, but he specializes very much in the area of lighting. So you can be a cinematographer and choose to specialize in, but I I, I can't separate in, what cinematography is light. I can't separate cinematography. I can't separate uh, cinematography from light. In fact, what makes up what makes us call it cinematography? We will have called it camera operation. We will have just called it camera operation. What makes up a cinematography is camera operation, light designing, and of course, a little bit, of course, a little bit of sound. We will have said full of sound will have been inside because there are so much about sound. Sound does not end on location. Sound goes beyond, way, way, way beyond locations. There are so much things you need to do about sound apart from the fact that you record your your ambience, your fully, your your dialogues on location. So, so we we may, we may not be able to uh, uh, join sound fully into cinematography, but a, a complete cinematography must understand light and must understand camera. But you can now decide to specialize, just like a do every doctor can treat malaria, but not every doctor can 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 treat broken bones. So it it has some special area, some specialized people. That can treat a broken bone. Now, not every doctor can treat anything about the wound. There are some special doctors who can deal with that. So the same way it is. No, uh, not, not every cinematographer can light. Uh, I mean, I mean, not every cinematographer can light, but not every cinematographer specializes in lighting. Uh -huh. So those who specialize in balance. lighting, those, those who specialize in lighting are very good. They are professional in that area, and some. It is their camera, they know very much. They specialize so much in camera. You cannot beat them when it comes to creating shots. That is it. Thank you. Awesome, awesome this morning. Uh, awesome, awesome this morning because uh, I try to share it in so many platforms. And, um, you know, if you, if you have dedicated something for somebody and you never see the person, people will ask you the question, how come? And uh, this morning you are seeing the man, uh, the icon of grace. You know, one of the things I tell myself is, I think I learned from my family. He doesn't celebrate you because you're so popular. He doesn't celebrate because everybody knows you. He celebrates you because you are doing the will of God and you are good at it. And that's what I picked. It's, um, it's, a, it's an honor this morning. But I know you're extremely busy. Even right now, I know in the next few minutes, your phone will be ringing. Seriously. <laughs> And uh, we appreciate your time. Even giving us this 20-something minute time is not an easy thing. And I want to say thank you very much. Uh, let me now over to myself uh, by turning. So by turning to myself here now, I will say uh, it's a well-done work. But I will talk to you to wrap it up. And, um, thank you so much, everyone, for being part of what we are doing. And I want to say don't forget something. Don't just be creative. Stay creative and be a person of creativity. At this point, this is post COVID 19. Left to me, COVID 19 is already imposed because we have to just get ready for the reality of what is going to happen afterwards. So please, please, please share this video to give a copy because it will be useful for somebody tomorrow. And I must confess, very soon this book is coming out and it's going to be wonderful. I have said it to all my friends who are going to buy the books, but if they don't write on time, they might go to, to copy for their food to do their books. I tell you, I told them they will write forward. They will write forward on the book. So let them release their book on time, and it's going to be good. I want to appreciate you, let's but I can only say again. Maybe I have a little word for us before it goes. Thank you so very much for joining us. Uh, thank you so very much for learning at the feet of the Lord. Uh, I, I, I believe so much in uh, everything that I know today uh, uh, from the Lord. 
it, it is God that gives the grace. And um, I want to tell you this conclusively, that light begins the world. And it is the light that will wrap up the world. Because in a day, if we have studied a little bit of uh, Revelation, we will understand that at a point when the whole world will end, everything will turn into darkness, the cloud will change, so everything will change. And that tells us that by the time they will call it a wrap, there will be no light anymore. So, I want you to stay rapturable. I want you to stay with the Lord. All this COVID-19 thing is giving us a sign. <laughs> it's giving us a sign. We begin to hear about 5G now. <laughs> so it's giving us so much of signs. And I, I, stories are bad about 5G is that you can you can be outside and close your door from outside with your on your phone. You will just press close my house door and it will close your house door. 5G. That, those are the stories. That, and that is standing towards controlling everything in the world just on a, on a, on a simple chip, microchip. So let's, let's, let's wait patiently for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and let's stay holy and perfect before Him. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye.